Welcome to Linux Help Tutorial. In this session you are going to see about how to install Fedora Server 23. Fedora Server makes service management simple with RollKit, a programmatic interface for quick deployment and cockpit, a remote web GUI. Now in Fedora Server 23 you can manage a Kubernetes cluster from the cockpit admin console or launch a free IPA domain controller for a kickstart file. Now I am going to show you how to install Fedora 23 server in the system. Once the download is completed from the official Fedora website, you need to prepare a bootable media, either it is USB flash drive or CD. After completing the task, the bootable media is plugged into the appropriate port or device and boot it. And you can able to see the Fedora installation 23 screen. In that choose install fedora 23 and click enter now the fedora installation screen appears in the desktop now choose the language which you would like to see the installation process i am going to choose english and the english united states then click continue now the installation summary will be appear in your desktop now i am going to choose the language support I am going to choose English, English United States and English India. Click done. I am going to choose the time and date. I am going to choose India. Then click done. Software installation source. For that I am going to give auto detect installation media. And then I am going to check in the box. Don't install the latest available software updates because the, for me there is no need for installation of latest available software updates in my system so I am just checking in, in this box and then click done now software selection here I am going to install the Fedora server so I am just checking into Fedora server and then click done installation partitioning here if the disk is not selected for partitioning check in the disk after that I will configure partitioning for doing the partitioning manually then click done here you can use the various partitioning schemas such as standard partitioning BTRFS LVM and LVM thin provisioning but now I am going to use LVM partitioning click press button to add a new mode point I am going to create for boot for that I am going to assign 300 MB 300 M then click add mode point now I am going to create for swap so again click new mode point and then give swap now I am going to assign 2 GB the size of this fab should be twice the size of the RAM memory now give add mode point the swap memory has been created now I am going to assign for root so for root I am going to give 15 GB then click add mode point here you can able to change the file system there are various file system such as exe2 exe3 exe4 vfat and xfs i am going to change the root partition as ext4 format so i am just giving ext4 after finishing all the changes click done button now the summary of the changes that you have made in the disk will be get appeared are you ok with all the settings now click accept changes now i am going to configure the ip address and the host name for that click network and host name here we can you can able to set your host name now i am going to configure my ip address for that click configure IPv4 settings. If you are connected to a DHCP server, automatically the IP address will be get fetched. But I am having a static IP, so I need to configure it manually. So click manual and then click add 
192.168.5.196 Submit March 24 and Gateway is 192.168.5.1 DNS is 8.8.8.8 It is a Google DNS 8.4.4 It is the alternate DNS and then check in the box require IP addressing for the connection to complete and then click save now on the connection now you can able to see the status it is connected and it will be showing the IP address subnet mask and the default routing then click done to save the configure now after doing all the installation process in the installation summary now click begin installation to start the installation process in your system now the installation process has been started now I am going to set the root password for confirmation type it again then click done to set the root password for creating a user click on create user I am going to create user1 I am going to assign password for that user again type for the confirmation then click done to create now the installation process is going on now the installation process has been get completed now click reboot to reboot the system now the login screen of the Fedora 23 server has been arrived. Login by using the root user. So root and give the password. Now it has been successfully logged into your system. Now I am going to install the administrative tool known as cockpit. Now I am going to install the cockpit package. For that command is dnf space install space the name of the package dnf space install space c o c k p i t cockpit now you can able to see the installation process has been get started for the cockpit package the installation process of the cockpit has been completed successfully now i'm going to enable the cockpit services for that command is s y s t e m c t l enable C O C K P I T dot S O C K E T. Now the socket has been enabled successfully. Now I am going to start the service. S Y S T E M C T L S T A R T C O C K P I T. Now the cockpit service has been started successfully. Now I am going to add the cockpit service to the firewall. Firewall hyphen C M D hyphen hyphen add hyphen service s e r b i c e equal to c o c k p i t now the service has been added to the firewall now you can open the cockpit administrative tool in your web browser http colon your ip address 192.168.3.196 colon 1990 now we can able to see the login page has been opened here you need to give the username and the password now the page has been successfully opened you can able to see the CPU usage graph chart and the services that are running and the path of the services and also you can able to see the log files the error messages that are present in your system and the storages that are reading and writing and the file system that are mounted in your system and the usage of the disk available and the used space also will be displayed here and the networking monitoring also can be able to done here the sending and the receiving messages
and the available accounts that are present in your current system and the terminal also will be displayed here thank you for watching for more information visit www.linuxhelp.com